ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. All right. I think a game has been chosen. Um, the people want to see me stream a new game. We were going to choose between uh, cho continuing on Tex Murphy and that adventure or uh, playing a little bit of Quiplash, which we will do later this evening, or playing a new game that was graciously donated by one of uh, my viewers, TMOS Lauren, uh, Hand of Fate. An interesting card-based dungeon crawler that I don't really know a whole lot about. I've been wanting to do a review on it for a while. But they just had a massive free update come down the pipe called Murder at Sea, I believe. Which had which added a whole bunch of new cards to play with. And yeah. We'll see what the volume levels are like. I think I've got it turned to the appropriate level. We'll find out. Just let me know. Ah. One more for the game. Come. Sit. I do love that voice. You have passed the 13 gates. Wait a minute. There's sub subtitles are turned on. Also, I don't have the game in the thing. Hmm. There we go. Uh, sigh, not enough. But don't worry, I plan on fixing that very soon. Okay, so we do have subtitles on. That's a good thing, at least. Continuing on. And you come to my table to play the game of life. How's that? Is that better? That should be uh, pretty much at a better yeah. level. Hello. Your stake is wagered. I will say this. I do love... I refuse none who come here. That voice. Yet, that voice I say, is great. turn back. Mm. So that's back the Back so soon. I knew you would not falter. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Okay. Continue. The Jack of Dust. Here is the first member of my court. The bandit leader the Jack is stronger of and faster dust. than most bandits encounter. Twelve in all in must fall before you may challenge me. I see. So he's starting to explain some of the rules of the game, I imagine. He becomes enraged, making powerful and blackable attacks. He also has a fire to steal gold on each hit. Okay. So, yeah, it's on sale 50% off right now, incidentally, because they just made a new update to the game. Like I was saying, it's called Murder and Sea that added a whole bunch of sea-based cards to the game. Now, I'm not sure about a whole lot other Let than the that cards as far as exactly where, they where may. it goes. Other we than begin. it is a card-based dungeon crawler. You unlock cards as you play, you build new decks, you explore new areas. This is us on the stairs, starting out with 100 food, or excuse me, 100 health, 20 food, 10 gold. You can always review your cards here. Interesting. So I am an adventurer with a rusty axe and light armor. Okay. Here is cool. all you have gained. Upgrade screens to... The adventure has no specific upgrades and rule changes. So I guess as you choose which person you are, it gives you different upgrades, and you might be able to choose upgrades that are just standing per person. But anyway, let's choose our next card. It's the only one. It's Mr. I was never Lionel. a fan of illusion or pretense. Here I'll Someone make an exception. Someone who seems to lay traps of, of brew and coin for people to find. Whilst enjoying an evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps his shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention. And you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. You give me what I need, boy, I will conjure your heart's desire with this wizardry wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments and then sits patiently for your answer. I only have 10 gold, so I can't give him the gold he wants. But I can ask him what he needs. Needs. He needs to help me. He, 
taps his staff to the ground and shield materializes to my feet. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one shield card. Oh, damn. Okay, nice. Huh. Well, we got ourselves a shield. Allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. Look for the green indicator above the head. Counter. Okay. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints off to the tavern door. That takes care of him. Our next card is the Twisted Cannon. That first cannon, moment. Excuse me. That glinting we weapon. Lost, uh, one the call to trip, action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. Am I still a little quiet compared to the game? Um, I could turn the game down just a touch more. We'll see how that sounds. Back in the Twisted Canyon we go. You see a, win a weapon glinting in the sunlight right there. Lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. Do we go down and retrieve it? Well, yes, clearly. I mean, it's a canyon calling out for adventure. All right. So we got to roll for success. Choose from these options. Man, seriously, I was hoping that it would be one that you could watch over. Oh, come on, baby. Yes. Success is our friend. We make our way to the bottom of the canyon, and we draw one weapon card. Nice. Now I have a sword. Instead of just my poopy axe. We're definitely going to keep our sword. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. All right. Our next card is the main riding, Fair a, riding a unicorn. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter. One day in a shady forest, you encounter memories. an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon do you ask of me? Hmm. Well, we already have pretty decent life. I don't. I don't want to be greedy with that. Let's ask her for supplies. The dealer draws you two food game cards. Nice. I'm sure you're grateful for that. I am, actually. Five and three food? That's pretty great. Really? Still? Um. All right, then let me change it in the game this time because I don't really have much more precise controls there. Do 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 that any better remember mortal that bold heroes make for great balance but survivors think twice before meddling in the affairs of gods and monsters she's a little passive aggressive there and the stairs down leading up to the next more, floor seeking or, the heart of it all down a floor all right we take the scares your journey is well begun excellent this is what i was looking for show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. Interesting. So, I... I wonder what happens when you encounter... An ambush. Hardly fair, is a it? A monster. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. The two of dust. Weapons bristle from trees around you. Their wielder's face is obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold or die. We actually are doing pretty good as far as like we have a sword and a shield. I think we should take them on. We shout our battle cry and raise our weapons. To battle! I guess that answers my fucking question, doesn't it? Hmm. What an interesting tutorial session. Two of dust. Okay, so that plants us on the winding trail with our shield and our sword. That's awesome. Dude. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Okay. So we move, attack and stun. We have a dodge roll and our counter. Nice. And counter. 
Yeah. Okay, so it feels very kind of Arkham Asylum -y. in that way. Whenever you see the encounter, you just click the button and it kind of does it for you. But it's not quite as fluid as that. The animation isn't. But I like it. Okay. So I got three loot. Wow. I draw three from the armory and select one to keep. Uh, let's go with a helmet. I don't have an el helmet yet. A small Reveal aid stairs. to navigation, but Upon still. Upon en entering a level. And grants a grunkle. Ooh. Nice. Gold bonuses are always great. And we get three food. And we get 15 gold. Sweet. I am both, Dan. Thank you so much. I am a fighter and a lover. One does not have to choose exclusively. Uh, and, I mean, you never know, Marcy. You never know. I'm not going to force myself on anything, but we'll see. Are we at the Jack of Dust? You have reached my first champion. Fuck. A good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife in and the ruins child, of an ancient temple among and the kin. eternally shifting sands. Such dark and brittle iron, I forged my desert tools. Bandits. Now we see your metal. Infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that dare take their chances traveling through his domain, he rules as the king of the barren land. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Okay. Neat. Let's fucking do it. Here's our first boss fight. And four of dust, which I imagine means four regular enemies, too. That's a fucking sweet intro animation. Like, seriously? That's awesome. Some enemy okay. attacks cannot be blocked or counted. So we have to... Oh, God. Way or stop uh, dodge roll is mountain. over on the space bar. So we can use that to get out of the way. Uh, dodge. And let's slash this guy a little bit. Thank you. Now dodge. Now let's go over here to him. Nice. Counter that guy. Okay, I see. So they turn like grayish. Grayish. Wow. I was going to say brown and gray. Whenever they die. Down into the worms with him. I like it a lot. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. That's one, one champion out of has been sent to the cabinet. Wow. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Nice. If you fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. What does that As mean? As you improve, so do I. Oh. Balance must be retained. Okay. I didn't want to do I didn't want to beat the boss yet. I received these new cards, so I receive all of them. Local peasant, devil's choice, river, captain of the guards. Jack of Skulls, they both have locks on it, which I imagine means they unlock other cards. And then the Dead King's Hall. Awesome. This token unlocks these new cards. These are weapons, medium armor, desperate measures, chains of rage, mercenary contract, medium armor, and fortitude's breath. Huh. There, I've turned them way down. How's that? That should be a lot better. 
And then these cards are new challenges. Bandit attack, maze of traps, and goblins. Nice. Shall we deal again? What do you guys think? Shall we play another game? I mean, I'm really kind of enjoying myself playing this game. It's really cool. I think I'm actually going to do a review on it uh, at some point in the future. So I don't know how deep I want to get into the game or how deep you guys want to see. But uh, I'm enjoying this game so far. What do you think? Cool. Seems like the people like this game. Ah, Let's good. deal with another game. Now you understand the basics, we can begin in earnest. Your Story hero mode is or endless mode. Beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. Okay. Endless mode, I assume we have to unlock. Let's venture through the story. Jack of Dust. Up next is the Jack of Skulls. Three times skulls, three supplies. Serving as captains to squads of lesser skeletons, these unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all warm-blooded folk. For, the, uh, for until this fiend is defeated, their legions are effectively Time for you endless. to face my undead army. Uh, Shannon, because Jack that's happening Skulls. tomorrow. The actual party party is happening tomorrow. And um, so I feel like... Ooh, I'm going to go into the deck builder. Tonight, I'm going to spend with you guys on my actual birthday, because why not? That's a little bit more symbolic. And then tomorrow, once all the people at the office have had a chance to not be at work all damn day, they can come here and party, which is my normal stream night. So, again, hence the move to tonight. Um, can you say recommended? No. Let's see. Oh, so I haven't really unlocked enough enough. Okay. Wait. So this is my deck. And this is the stuff that I can put in. Okay, so let's take out a shield and put in Fortitude's Breath. Um, we can add in medium armor and a chains. Arsenary contract and desperate measures. Oh, no, nope, that's too many. Let's take that away. What do you do? Oh, it's new, and its secrets will be revealed during gameplay. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay. Let's go back. And then, let's see. I can look in here, evaluate this deck. Welcome to the wild card update for Hand of Fate. This update has different fates that you can select in order to change the way the game plays. Each fate enables different modifiers. So I have the Apprentice. Players are stronger, enemies are weaker, and some achievements can't be unlocked. That's basically easy mode. And then that's hard mode. Soldiers training. Highly skilled at combat, but very unlucky. Oh, this is fucking cool. Gives you a whole bunch of different modifiers and deck changes. What? Okay. That's awesome. Alright, so let's continue with just the standard adventurer set, I think. And then, let's see, what do we have as far as our encounters? Um, well, we've already done a winding trail, so we don't need that one anymore. We can do Devil's Choice and Dead Man's Hall, I think. That'll work. Alright, so now that we've got our deck built, we can start. Let's New start this damn game. Awaits you. It will be awarded when you complete your run. Ooh. I will add my own cards to the deck. How boring life would be without a little spice. Can't say that I disagree with you, Mr. Dealer, whose name I don't know. Play for life and death. Prepare yourself. You know, Dan, you're right. 
you're exactly right. Shared interest, not shared location is a very, very critical point. I've always felt it lives that it's in easy to make game. friends if you can find that initial moment where things begin. two points of connection. I have worked on these and if one of them is already established games, in whatever it is that you're meeting through, whether it be Rooster Teeth or whether it be internet videos in general or card games or board games or really anything, then finding a second point of interest is actually kind of easy. It could be with literally anything. And so you already have a good starting point for a conversation. It's just easier to make friends that way. All right, so our first encounter is the Twisted Canyon. Let's climb down and get a weapon, shall we? Uh, one, two, three, four, I declare you my card. Nice. We are getting very close to those failures every time. Draw one weapon card. Okay. Uh, we will take our really? sword. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, damn, Skippy is what I'm gonna do. Next, Monster Lionel. I'm starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. Actually, I kind of am. Fortitude's breath. Every third encounter does not consume food. Ooh. Press right mouse button to shield. Target stunning it. Awesome. That's actually really cool that it gives you cards that you can remember the easy ways to get stuff. Because then you can just kind of get yourself equipped here on this bottom floor as a maiden. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet We'll ask Meredith her for again. more supplies. Or perhaps we are merely cycling around Free the wheel, dipping into the same memories. Ten food. Time wow, ten food. Time That's again. awesome. Many enchanted weapons have ability, powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if their wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. Uh, let's see, and then the stairs. Head to the down next place. It, if you dare. You damn skippy, I do. Many have reached this far. Further, in fact. So this should be a trap. I do not know if you have what it takes to do better than they did. Hey, Alex. Cave, Welcome. Glad you could join traps, us. And the hope of treasure. It's all I could ask for. Here's our more. new encounter. A maze of traps. There's a what token do you do? In for you if you win. You encounter a goblin treasure cave. Do you enter? You're damn right we do. Okay. Let's find out what happens. Are we going in? I think we're going in. We've got a sword and our fortune's breath shield. So we should be doing all right. We just got to make it through. To raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against you. Beware of my trap. This is fucking awesome. Like seriously? Okay, then we should just be able to dodge roll. Nice. Uh, what are you going to do? All the way. I mean, it's just enough to hurt you, but not kill you. We got another. Oh, dark trap. Okay. And flame off. Excellent. Oh boy. That one's got two punks. Two punks. Two holes full of spikes. Puncture holes in me. Uh, what happens if we just get the pots? Is there anything in the pots? Nope. Oh shit. Well, that's two hits I've taken, unnecessarily. And we may have to double roll, double roll, to get the treasure. Fuck you, dealer. That trap wasn't shit. Oh, none taken, puppets. It's okay. Uh, I deal three gain cards, 15 gold. 25 gold. I'm a rich motherfucker. And draw one equipment. Nice. An item that tells you how to move quickly, but tempts you to take your time. What a great item. The card token is the now The token mine. is yours. Well done. Nice. 
So, next card. I'm going to let you guys decide on this one. Should we go up or should we go right? What will my next card be? Up or right? You tell me, and I'm going to take a drink. I see two ups. All right. Up it is. Deeper oh, it's the stairs. Our foe. Do we go down the stairs yet? No. We're going to keep exploring. Okay. That means we go here. Captain of the Guard. I always thought it was best to Another new card. Of awesomely. Awesomely. I see you have no such concerns. Okay. Win this and claim my token. Really? You shout you hear a shout from up ahead and the sounds of battle. Racing forwards you discover a warrior is surrounded by undead. The two of skulls. Broken bones littered the area around the man, but there is still more closing in on him, and he appears badly injured. Stranger, he calls out as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and end these monstrosities. Ooh, it's a lump Damn. of iron. Holy on a mace? Stick. Not terribly subtle. They will sustain more damage and may not resurrect around such holy relics. You're goddamn right, I will. More damage and it gives me fucking non raising powers? Alright. So let's go into the Captain of the Guard encounter and kill hopefully just two undead. I mean, we've got our awesome fucking shield and our awesome fucking helmet. And now a badass mate's like, seriously? If only this part was just slightly better, this game would be an absolute hit. That is my opinion. Damn! I just beat the shit out of him. Good work putting him to rest. Keep the mace. We have enough back at Kadir, he says, slowly standing. We've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently, and I came to investigate. He stops to look around at all the bone fragments. More of them are here than I suspected. Some new horror must have decided to settle in these parts of Rotten Minions. Oh, right, because the undead are supposed to be coming around because of the, uh, the Jack of Skulls. I must head back to the capital and report this to the Duke, watch your step friend. There is something more powerful to work than just these skeletons. And this card's token is now mine. Awesome. All right. Next card, plus 20 gold, plus six health. The Traveling Tinker. This is one of his cards. In a shady grove the beat off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventures. Tinkers sell items of all descriptions. I have 70 goddamn gold. We're gonna spend so much of it. Greetings, wash traveler. I have much to roll for you. What you buy? If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. Ooh. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The yeah, back and forth between are. resources and rewards. Now the back and forth between the war. This is so fucking great. Okay, so I've already bought, or I already have Desperate Measures. Oh, wait. This is buying items that I already have. Is it buying items for me to use that I already have? Once per combat, press two. Ooh, that's kind of nice. And then I can go ahead and get Desperate Measures, but I already have a good weapon, so I don't need that. Um, Damocles is kind of nice, but I think I'm going to go with Mercenary Contract. Yeah. I definitely want to buy it. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes okay. time to ready them. Noted. I think we're done here. Uh, Evie, I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. If I ever get asked, I would never say no. 
Uh, but I just have not been asked as of yet. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another floor awaits. Dude, this game is great. You embark on another on the next leg of your adventure. It wasn't that much Good. better, Shannon. And now especially considering that do this thing does extra damage kill to the jack of skulls, um, and we can skulls anyways. Nice. So I guess he must be at the very end of this hallway, as it were. I love that the world kind of constructs itself, and it totally has a story here. Being stout and meek, goblins know not that they can use strength or fear to survive, or know that they cannot use strength or fear to survive. They rely more on mischievous methods. They steal from you when you're asleep and escape through ma uh, ma magical portals. So they're going to be trying to steal my a gold. challenge for you. And I and get a, a token, token if I if succeed. You succeed. Ooh, they're stealing my shit. No. No, bad goblins. Bad goblins, we can't have you stealing our shit. Uh, Evie, it's half off right now. It's like... $13 as opposed to 25 normally. So I would say grab it right now if you're going to. Especially consider like the reason why it's half off right now is they just put out a massive update for it. So I would say right now is literally the best time to get it. Also new ability, artifact. Nice. Well, let's use that bitch. And the mercenary contract is going to make me drop a fuckload of gold. I love it when they drop gold. Hello. Give me your gold. Wow. I can just knock them senseless while they're on the ground. That's pretty great. Oh, I have to pick up the gold. Okay. Nice. Uh, I wonder if that green means it's ready to use again. Come here. Come here, you little turd. Where are you going? Give me your gold. Must have your gold. And third one is in. Oh, he's trying to call his magical portal. I don't think so, folks. Get knocked the fuck out. I didn't lose my shield, did I? I think I got everything back. Did I, I got everything back. Let me check. Let me check. Yes, I got my shield back. We're good. We're good. We are totally, totally good. Fortune's breath, the mace, the armor, and the helmet. Totally good. Uh, next card. Ambush. Oh, what did no. you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? Sounds like a great time to me. <sighs> a slight rustling behind you is all the warning that you get, and your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. The two of skulls. More skeletons for you to deal with. Easy enough. Bring them on. I need to... Bone up on my skeleton killing skills. Give me my helmet. Give me my shield. And my mace. Nice. Let's fucking do this. Uh, we're gonna activate our magic. Oh, I can only do that five times. I see. Until I have to either get it again. Yeah. That's how we murder a lot of people. That other gold. Oh well, whatever. Ambush. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Let's sneak up and try and kill them. Hey, quit playing dead. Be really dead. Three cards. Draw three, select one to keep. Desperate measures for the medium armor. What do I keep, ladies and gentlemen? This decision is up for you. I'm gonna leave this one to you. What do I take? The mace? Which will, let's see, I'm give impressed. me damage of 32. You select these sorts of weapons because nobody ever anticipates being in peril. Such misplaced confidence is usually their downfall. <laughs> I'm taking the medium armor too. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? 
Done. Congratulations. Yes. Armor yes, protects you from damage. All right. The so I also get three food. So much. More. And ooh, five food. One of Thank my cards. A small benefit. I will not be so graceful for long. Yeah, I'll bet not. Don't worry. I'll take you down whenever you come on. Just like this bandit attack. Our bandits are displeased with your challenge. A group. A group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. The dealer draws you one monster card, four of dust. It's time to kill some bandits. Yeah, once dealing with the boss, the armor boost will be really nice. That's that's kind of all there is to that. Give me my helmet and my shield and my mace. Let's fucking do this. There's four of them this time. I feel like the, doing the mercenary contract again is a great idea. Come here, buddy. And counter. And counter. I love getting your money. Oh, nice. Okay, so you can stun opponents out of attacks instead of countering them. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Ow. Also, an interesting angle for me to take. Wait, come here. You said die. Why won't you die? Perfect. I know, right? I have 125 gold. Where's the shop when you fucking need it? Okay. Draw one game card. Nice. I have a shit ton of food. Next. And there's our shop. Awesome. I have 125 gold. Let's see what we can fucking buy. The general shop offers a wide range of items. Greetings, wash traveler. I have much to offer you. What you got this time, Mr. Shopkeeper? Buy items, sell items, heal wounds, which I don't need. Or buy gold. Chains of rain. During combat, strikes the same from bows and wands have a chance to restore my cooldown. Or a Damocles. classical approach to dealing with crowds. Or I can buy another use of mercenary contract. I mean, I think I am going to go ahead and buy it. Because, I mean... Artifacts give you powerful you abilities know, to use in combat. I kind of need it. But if this is also a medium attack... Or a medium um, armor, then there's no point in me not buying it. Even if I don't come up against wands and bows, Interesting I've got choice. the extra money, I've got the extra stuff. Why not? All right, that's good enough. Let's go back, leave. Let's go. Let's go take down that fucking boss, shall we? I think this is gonna be a good time. Next card. Next card. Plus 20 gold. My word. And upon reveal, it is the Jack of Skulls. The undead. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness. An error. Cheating. This tenacious undead is unusually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to sheer strength, this skeleton has the power to revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity. Okay. Well, we play for a token now. You damn skip if we do. And I'm going to take his ass the fuck down. Ooh, two tokens. Love it. Exactly, Evie. That's exactly why I took it. Yeah, and they have a, a chance of not reviving it since they're around my mace. Jack of Skulls. Oh, you think you're so badass, Jack of Skulls. Oh, yeah? Shots from rifles cannot be deflected. Guess what? You would do better to avoid them. Are you agile enough? Maybe? Maybe I'm agile enough? Ooh, I can just kill the rifle guys first. Oh, dick. And let's use our ability. Nice. Wow. That felt pretty good. 
Also, dude, that's how he revived. No. Yeah. And he's gonna keep reviving those guys, so I kinda need to focus him. And I can't hit him while he's doing that. Yeah. Maybe I have to kill all the skeletons first. Just keep reviving <laughs> To be fair, I keep trying to attack him while he's using skills. I keep making him use skills by attacking his minions. So, let's just try and attack him normally. Nope, can't do that. What about if I stun him shield? Nope, can't do that. Dicks. Alright. So let's try and be smarter than the fucking skeleton, shall we? Come here. That seems to be working. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Nice. With the boss down, I can defeat all of his fucking minions. Nice and peaceful. Come here. Even I cannot say what will come of it. Now our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose? That is the question, is it not? I think that that is a great fucking question. So what are we saying? Murder at Sea DLC has arrived. Visit the landlocked lover to begin your quest. And what is this token? For exploring the maze of traps, I received the scavenger's cap, a new treasure. For helping the captain of the guard, I receive a mace and a mace. Nice. So I can just have maces whenever they need around. And then for encountering the goblins, I received more goblins, time heals, and supplies. We're defeating the Jack of Skeletons, the Crucible, the Desert Storm, Queen of Dust, who must be the next boss, and the Helpful Priest. Also for defeating the Jack of Skeletons, the Helm of Reflection, Frostfang, Consuming shade, an angel's wing. Shall we? Those all again? get gadded into the deck, and those all get added back in when we deal another hand. This game is fucking cool. Like I seriously loved this game. Like I figured I would. I just—it was one of those that had slipped me by when it was time to. Um, when it, when it came time for it to release, I, I didn't really have the ability to do it at the time. I was very busy, yada, yada, yada. I'm very glad that this DLC and also the gracious, gracious gift gave me the ability to play this game. Um, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we play another hand? I kind of I kind of want to. And I know, it, I know, like, we're at midnight. We're going to keep going for a little bit longer. We're definitely gonna play Quiplash. But I've kind of, in all of this ruckus, I've kind of lost track of when we came back from our last break. Has it been an hour since our last break? I don't know. How long has it been since our last break? Somebody tell me. Thank you so much for joining us. 
Have a great, great, great night. Uh, join us early, early in the morning. Probably, let's see, 9.30 in the morning my time. You should be good and awake by then for a cartoon stream. Uh, we're going to stream some Saturday morning cartoons. It'll probably be American cartoons. And uh, you should probably enjoy it. So come and see that. 40 minutes. Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. Then enough time to play another hand. And um, another round. After that, we'll take another break and then probably do some quick questions. Sounds good to me. Story mode continues. Let's uh, go into the deck builder. Challenges: three rock falls, three good fortunes, curses, money bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold bold they possess. Woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. Okay. No, she took up arms, uh, organized. So I need now 14 so I can add two in from our new stuff. Add in she Frostbang. She would be the one dealing it. What do we have here? And we can go ahead and take out. Oops, I think we can do that. Um. Well, shit. What's the? Ah, I meant to inspect it. There we go. It's new, so I can't really see what it does until I put it in. I don't really have a whole lot of helmets. I'm gonna take out one of the axes and one of the swords. Because I'm starting to get some good weapons in here. I'm gonna put in a mace. Let's take out an axe. I like the mace instead. That's a good range of weapons in there. And then I've got three that I can put in here. We're gonna put in that, that. Let's go with the scavenger's cap and consuming shade. I get seven uses of Consuming Shade versus Time Heals, which I get three of. I wonder if the number of Florence across the bottom here actually tells you how rare or how powerful the spell is. I'm curious about that. We'll see. Consuming Shade. Let's go back. All right, so for this one, yep, still choosing the default. We get to add in two new encounters. We'll take the care of the ambush maze of traps and that lets us add in desert storm the crucible the helpful priest and the river There will come a point where I take out Mr. Lionel and Maiden and stuff, but not not yet. Not yet. Call for priest. Okay, so there are some helpful spells in there, but only a few. Alright. There's all of our cards laid out. There's a four in there somewhere. And let's hope that four doesn't come across. To spice up the game. In addition to the pain and game decks. There are now blessings and curses. Okay. Choose your steps carefully. Well, I guess we have one step to choose from first. The maid. You might think the world of the cards is grim. Yet, even in the darkness, there is light to be found. We gotta add some more food. Getting that food bonus straight off hand will let us explore sure the dungeon deeper later on. Uh, let's go to the right, because we haven't chosen that direction yet. And that gives us the river, Running which lets us play for a token. Against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's Ooh. just a pain to get past. There's a huge success in here. Oh, okay. There's a huge success somewhere in here. One, two, three, or four. You guys get to pick. Which one is it? Where's the huge success, ladies and gentlemen? One, two, three, or four. You guys tell me. We got a four, a two, a three. There's two threes. So we got two votes for two, two votes for three. Let's see which one gets the next one. And that's the one we'll pick. Come on, chat. I trust in you. I know you'll pick a good one for me. And 
three has it. Oh, huge success was four. Marcy was right. Marcy was absolutely right. Your light armor makes crossing relatively easy. You reach the other side, cold and wet, but unharmed. Our next card is goblins. Goblins. I do love goblins. All right. Truly, I haven't Three seen of their goblins. like in years. Well, excellent. Time to go goblin murdering. We didn't get our um, usual upgrades that we have. We just have the rusty axe. So this may be, may be a little bit more difficult than it has been in past encounters. But because we don't have very much gold, we're not incredibly encumbered by the money bag ability. Curse, whatever. Die, die. And execute. Oh, there we go. Although I will say this. Ooh, ha. Take it. Take all of my hits. One should be able to. I will say this though, it does feel pretty good once you actually kind of figure out what the game expects of you. Like these combat sections aren't incredibly difficult yet. I imagine they probably will be. All they require is a little bit of strategic knowledge of how to take advantage of the mechanics. And I wonder if that's the general idea. Alright. One more this step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set. Of stairs. Well, let's this find game out. is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. Let's retrieve a weapon. All right, I'm going to choose this one. Uh, let's go with four. Nice. There's our success. And I draw a weapon. I will take the Holy Mace. It won't be quite as useful against the Queen of Sands, but at least it's a little bit more... Ooh. Priests, gods, a little bit more eternal damage. damnations. I have no truck with any you of them. You meet it. a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. Well, first show our share of your provisions. I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Give the priest half of my food. Who? All right. No, you can't, Marcy. I don't think so, because, like, it doesn't quite give you the right one. Ah, oh, fuck. I wanted that huge success. Also, Shannon just said three seems to be a safe card, and I didn't take three. Three was the fucking one that I should have taken. Self-righteous. Blessings will On remain hit, always active. The player and inflicts never two removed, more damage for each blessing unless you die, they possess. Of course. Then nice. you're back where you began, as always. Oh, excuse me. What? I, maybe I'm not seeing what you're seeing, Marcy. Hitch a ride. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. You find a friendly Certainly. trader willing to let you ride his wagon. You have discovered the exit to this area. Nope, we're going to turn back. This one is the traveling healer. I don't really need any healing. And I also have some skills in removing curses. Ooh. They go in vertically and come out vertically. Interesting. Heal wounds, remove curses. Let's remove curses. Ah, oh, it takes 400 gold to remove a curse. Wow. Okay, well, we can buy some fucking food. That's for sure. They can't buy much food. Damn. Um. Well, continue. Oh, wait. I have 24 gold. God, I was looking at my food total as my gold total. I can buy five food. Let's go back. That should be enough for now. We'll probably get a little bit more. Okay, I'll keep a, I'll keep an eye out for what you guys are talking about. We'll see what I can find. A horse is a fine companion. Yes. 
I'm Next sure leg of the adventure. This one in time. Nice not corridor, to have Mr. The Lionel. For friends. Excellent. Even in the Mr. animal Lionel, kingdom. Mr. Lionel, give him what he needs. A shield card. Oh, just a regular one? Oh, well. Whatever. Next up. Rockfall. Oh, a no. A terrifying walk to get to the queen. Well, let's so dodge over the rocks. Oh, fuck. For an assailant to get There's the only eye. one. Nope. Huge fucking failure. Deal draws two pain cards. Lose 10 health. Oh, dear. Lose 15 health. Ouch. Ouch. What? Bad fortune. Bad fortune. Ow. That fucking hurt. The landlocked lover. Oh, Again, so this is our DLC. Is Breaking the silence with a the pride to greet you. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with our hospitality, I must ask you for a very important question. Have you seen, or heard, or God forbid, smelled a kraken? What is a kraken? The landlord stares at you in disbelief. He proceeds to rant and rave, after which you learn his name is Carlo, and in years past he sailed the seas as a captain. He now owns this inn and stays as far away from the sea as possible. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth of some stale bread, he says, I've heard rumors of boats going missing about the small village port of Nolich. No survivors. No witnesses. Nolich port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what really happened in there. Perhaps you can have a look around and find out more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after, and you know how it goes. He gestures to the empty, damp, ridden flea roll, flea hole that he calls home. Take the token. It is yours. Okay, and that lets us explore the DLC. Nice. Stairs to the next area. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean. We've got enough food, but we ain't got shit for gold. You are close so on her trail. Fucking and more confident shop. Oh, than no. Imagined. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. All right, fine. Again, the stones tumble. Tell me which one to pick, people. We're not watching. Which one do we pick? Fucking nailed it. You dodge the rocks by ducking into a small cave. A few minutes later, you emerge and climb around the new rock fall. You hear a voice somewhere above you say, Did I hit him? Run up and attack the bandits. Yes! Draw two monster cards. Ooh, four bandits. They about to die. They about to die real bad. With my mason magic shield. Well, regular shield. I don't have the magic shield. But it doesn't let me counter. That's kind of good. Come here. Hiya. And. Hiya. And. Oh, man. I was hoping that I would get away with an uninterrupted hit screen. That would have been nice. No, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. That's what I imagine they really sound like. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you, chat. I get two equipment cards out of that. The helmet and Damocles. A knife for all awesome. and mercy for none. All right. Dead Man's Gorge it is. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear the sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Two of dust. All right. Our Damocles spell lets us throw a shit ton of daggers that did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come here, you son of a bitch. And death. Hi -ya. Okay, that felt pretty good. That one felt pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Three gains. Draw one equipment. Ooh, all poison. weapon attacks it's the are enhanced with a traitor. powerful poison. 
Yes. Are you sure I want poison right instead of fucking knives. We get more food and 20 gold. Nice. All right. Uh, left, right, or down, ladies and gentlemen. Left, right, or down. Which way do we go? Left, right, or down. Which way do we go? Elves, I got shit on dad, apparently. No, give those back to Woody. Are you stealing elf ears? Like, why are you doing that? Stop. We got a right is right. We got a down. We got two rights. We got two, three downs. All right. Down it is. Bandit attack. Bandits, eh? Make an enemy of one, and you've made an enemy of all. The king of dust one isn't happy about you killing his men. Single -mindedness. Well, he's damn sure not going to be happy about us killing our queen here in just a damn minute. Yeah. We will save our fucking poison for later because I have a feeling that's going to be way more useful come the boss fight. Ow. Why would you do that? Why would you hit me? That's not cool, man. Not cool at all. Awesome. Uh, I kind of want to go back and explore left to right. 15 gold. Not bad. Rockfall, fuck! An accident or a trap. I wonder. All right, let's see if I can see it this time. A choice. Select your desire. Four. It should be four, right? I think I saw that one. Because it was just right on top. Okay, everybody is saying four. I'm saying four, two. Success. Awesome. A few minutes later, you emerged, climbed the new rock fall. Did I hit him? No, you fucking didn't. Three of dust. Three of dust. All right. That's six fucking goons, which means it's time for us to use our poison taint, don't you think? Also, this is a very small arena. Yeah. I said, use the poison tank. There we go. Yeah. 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 I don't know how much damage it's doing because they don't have any sort of health bars or anything. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm, I'm just murdering tons of dudes in, in a somewhat orderly fashion. It works. might have Marcy you don't know you'll have to watch the VOD to find out sweet two equipment cards out of that chain excellent rage. way to turn an injury into an asset yes I will replace that and desperate measures awesome 32 damage and it flicks more damage the lower health of the wielder it has nice okay minus one food and we regen some health Call for the priest. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with Wastern wandering adventures. Okay. So here we can heal a little bit. Buy blessings. Heal wounds. Remove curses. Okay. Critical strike. Holy touch. I don't really have the money for that. Useful. Uh, and then toxic blood. Any hit on the player. Ooh, wow, that's cool. But I don't have enough money to do that. Oh, well. Um, do I have any items that I'm not using? Yes, I can sell that. I can sell Damocles. Because I definitely don't want to use that. And I think I'm good on everything else. Cool. 50 gold. That's enough to heal, right? Looks like it. Done! A little extra help, but it is only a momentary respite. 
Oh, don't Every you step worry, you dealer. take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. And now we continue. What is this going to reveal? Is it stairs? The Queen of Mobile Dust. Mobile causes turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle and send the Queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? This desert queen is more lethal in battle and harder to kill than a regular bandit. Her blades are sharp, and she is frequently protected by a powerful crossbow. The bandit queen was taken by slavers as a child and raised in the desert. Over the years, she has bribed and murdered her way to the current position as second in command of the desert thieves, proving herself capable of ruthless cunning. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you wish you'd left untouched. I have a feeling I want to touch all of those cards in all the right places. All right, Queen of Dust, you got two henchmen and they don't revive? <laughs> You're not gonna last for fucking minutes. Ooh. Actually, that thing's fucking badass. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna roll over here. Take my paws taint. That's not good. That's not good at all. Ow. Oh, I see that Mala stay. And then I can use my shield to reflect it. Like so. Nice. God, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And hit. Hit. A palpable hit. Cute. Yeah. Nope, she's gonna hit me. Nope, she's gonna hit me bad. You. Uh, we're good. Come here. Come here, baby. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you with my mace. Can I do that, please? That would be great. Awesome. And now I have to take out her fucking ballast day, too. Get broke. Uh, what is she not? Okay, cool. There we go. Hey, Flat Nasty. Welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it. The Queen of Dust. Inevitable, I suppose. Has been defeated. So often, those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. The goblet. Still, she fought well and bravely which is all I expect from my pawns and players. So the goblet gives me stronger counterattacks, increased stun, new starting gear, bandit strength increase, skeleton strength increase, and bandits now have throwing weapons. Interesting. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Dude. Previously, I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. What has begun? I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me in mere moments. For dealing with the priest, we get a health potion, charity, and the healer's ring. And unlocking the DLC gets us the smuggler's war. As a reward for defeating the Bandit Queen, we get the Jack of Plague, the Field of Poppies, the Mage's Tower, and a Sleep in the Forest. And we also get Fleet Cuffs, the Huge Hammer, and the Armor of Cold. Come, play again. And those get mixed into our deck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Hand of Fate. This game is fucking awesome. Like seriously, this game is fantastic. Pick it up right now for 15% off on Steam. It was graciously given to me by at TMS Lauren on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much, man, for this awesome birthday gift. Like seriously, I'm gonna have so much fun with this game. Uh, expect a review on it before too long. I'm probably gonna have to reset my fucking progress in order to review the fucking thing from the beginning. But it's okay. Uh, we're gonna take a short break. And I'm gonna grab some more libation. And uh, when we come back, we're probably gonna play some more Quip, or we're probably gonna play Quiplash or something. 
I don't know. It's 1230. I've still got a bunch of energy. We're going to do the cartoon stream in the morning, but you know what? I'm not done partying with you guys yet, so we'll come back in just a little bit, and we'll play some more games. You guys don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Love you. Bye!